Hi everybody, Mr. A here with you. Today we are looking at percentage cumulative frequency graphs. Um, we can find the value below which a percentage of results occur with this type of method. So we can calculate the value below which 75% of the results lie. So we can say, mm, did my maths uh, result for a particular test, is that result um, above 75% of the class or is it below or or you can you can find where you sit in your class for example so this would be called the 75th percentile now in questions you'll be asked to find the 60th percentile the 20th percentile it doesn't really matter all you need to do first of all is to draw a nice looking graph and um, and you can find all that information out but first we need to add a percentage cumulative frequency column to our table that we've learnt up to this point so I've got a little formula here in words, a percentage cumulative frequency is equal to the cumulative frequency, which is in your table, divided by the total number of results and uh, multiplied by 100 to turn that into a percent. Let's have a look at a worked example, shall we? It says here that we need to add a percentage cumulative frequency column to the results shown in the table below. So our steps number one is complete the cumulative frequency column just like before. So let's quickly do that before we go on. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can move on to step number two and calculate this percentage cumulative frequency. So, to calculate it, we need to take each cumulative frequency, which is in the middle column, and divide it by the total number of results. And this total number of results is always the last number in this middle column here. So this 56 is the total number of results that we have. So let's have a look at how we would do the very first one. So we take our cumulative frequency, which in this case is 2, and we divide it by the total number of results, which is 56. So you're always, in this example, dividing by 56. All right. Then multiply by 100. So we multiply that by 100, and when we calculate this, when we use a calculator, we get roughly 4%. Okay, and that's rounding up to the nearest whole number. Let's have a look at the next row. Again, we take our cumulative frequency, which in this case is 8 and divide it by the total number of results, which again, like I said before, is 56. And we multiply by 100, and we get an answer of 14%. Just like that. So, we keep working this out, we keep doing this until we get to the very bottom. Let's see what happens. Okay, so there's our percentage cumulative frequency column completed. So we've done, like you can see, for each row, we've done the exact same thing that we did up the top here. We've taken each cumulative frequency, divided it by 56, which is our total number, and multiplied by 100, and we have a percentage. Now, you'll notice that when we get to the last row here, we get to 100%. So the way to check that you've done this properly, your very last row will always be 100%, or should always be 100%. Okay. Now let's move on to actually drawing our graph and finding the 75th percentile. We'll have a look at that in a second. The first thing we need to do though is draw a graph. So I've got the steps up here. Always draw an axis with a relevant scale, otherwise you'll be in a little bit of trouble uh, plotting your graph. Just a couple of things to remember. Your percentage frequency always goes on the y-axis, just like our cumulative frequency went on the y-axis. Now we're working with percentage cumulative frequency, so this will go on the y-axis. And the score, whatever you may have, weight, results, age, whatever, it could be anything, they always go on the x-axis. And remember, we're only using these second numbers here because we are working with grouped data. Okay, so let's have a look at what this looks like.
Okay, so we've got our axis here, we've got a relevant scale, we have our table of results just underneath it here so we can see the numbers. First thing we have to do is label our axis. So like I said, on the Y axis going up and down here, we need to have percentage cumulative frequency. So let's put that in. Okay, here you can't read that, it does say percentage cumulative frequency, I promise. And on the x-axis we need to have our score. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and plot our graph. Now remember we are using the last or the second numbers here from this row. So they'll be on the x-axis and our percentage cumulative frequency, that's what we're looking at. Everything else is kind of irrelevant at the moment. Okay, when you're plotting the graph. So we take our first number, our score, which is 15 and 4%, and we put a dot in line with 15, which is about here, and 4% is very, very low, somewhere around here. Okay, just like so. Next up, we have 30 and 14. So 30% is, or 30 uh, score and 14%, it would be roughly there. Next up, we have 45 and 48%, which is a little bit higher. So that's roughly, let's say, 45 and 48, about there. And we keep going like this until we get to our last dot. So let's do that quickly. Okay, so we plot out our graph. The next thing you need to do is join your your dots and always remember to have a dot at zero and zero because it always starts at the very bottom there. So let's draw our, our dots and let's see how we go. Okay, so we can make our dots a little bit bigger now. Okay, so there's our graph roughly done um, as accurate as we can. So now we have to go and finish off this question which says find the 75th percentile. So all we have to do is on our graph we need to find 75% on our percentage cumulative frequency y-axis here. Draw a line across until we hit our, our graph and then down. So let's do that first. So we find 75% which is roughly let's say about there draw a line across obviously it has to be a perfectly straight line more or less using a ruler when we do this on our page until we hit our graph and from that point onwards we need to go down in a relatively straight line again it's a little bit tricky for me but you can do this as well as you can with a ruler so this score that you get here that will be your answer so it's the question says is to find the score that lies um, at the 75th percentile. So what we need to say is that the score is roughly where we land there. So it's around about 55. So a score of 55 is, I can't spell. So a score of 55 is roughly um, the 55th percentile. Well, I hope you can have a go at some questions now on your own and uh, let me know if you have any questions or any problems. That wasn't very good one, was it?